All right, trying to drink more water every day. I am a little bit hungry because I didn't make like a real, real breakfast. As you saw, I made a smoothie earlier because I went on my run. I didn't really have a lot of time left after I went on my run and showered. That's why I opted for a protein smoothie so that it can kind of hold me over until now. So I'm gonna make some food. But before that, I do wanna to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Ritual. And I used the Ritual Vanilla Plant-Based Protein Powder in my smoothie earlier. So with the new year, one of my key resolutions that I wanna keep up with is just generally continuing to eat as much plant-based foods as possible. I generally eat pretty plant-based when I'm at home. It's kind of difficult to keep track of making sure that you're eating all the essential amino acids and all the protein. That's why it's really important for me, while eating plant-based mostly, to include some type of protein powder such as Rituals Essential Protein that includes all the nine essential amino acids. They really help with bone density, feeling like you're full after you're eating, as well as building lean muscle. Each serving of the Ritual Protein Powder contains 20 grams of protein, and it is made with essential choline, which helps fill common dietary gaps. There's absolutely no added sugar, no sugar alcohols, and like all the other Ritual products, the essential protein is soy-free, gluten-free, and is formulated with all non-GMO ingredients. This is an essential part when I am working out, when I realizing that I didn't get a lot of protein in my diet, the quick smoothie, it is a game changer. So if you guys are interested in trying Ritual's Essential Protein or any other Ritual product, you can either go to ritual.com slash Alia or you can use my code Alia to get 10% off your first three months. And with that said, we're gonna go on and make some lunch because I am starving. So sorry for this noise. I am so done with the construction and I just keep putting off turning on the camera to actually talk to the camera because the noise is just, I hope that it's not like too annoying. We got a huge delivery of furniture that we've been waiting for for a little bit. 
We got this coffee table. We also have this, um, what is this? A TV stand. And then we also have a kind of entryway shoe rack that we're gonna put right here because we always just have like random shoes. And I think I'm gonna build them right now. I kind I have like maybe, I think I have two hours until class and I just finished all my schoolwork or reading for the day. So I was like, what else am I gonna do? So let's build these things. And I wish I could talk more, but I'm so done with this construction noise that that's why I'm not talking very much in this vlog because it's just gonna be very annoying, I feel like, to listen to me talking with that construction in the background. I'm just headed in the pot, okay? Yoni's shy right now because he his hair is not done, so he's like... My hair is just messed up. Everybody comment down below. Do you guys like Yoni's hair when it's with single braids? Like he's had it recently or how he had it a long time ago where it was cornrows. I know what they're called. Comment down below, let us know. Cause he's, he's not sure. I think I like this one. The cornrows, the cornrows make you, the cornrows look very clean. That's true, that's true. But then with the cornrows, you can't really wear a beanie and it is still cold out. Yeah. Okay, um, so let's get to some building, I guess. I realized that it is nighttime now. I haven't filmed in a little bit because actually after I finished building the TV stand, I completely didn't realize that it was time for class. So I was in class from 4.30 to 6.20. It's now seven, almost about to be eight because I was finishing up the podcast because we're running a little bit behind. Also this sweater, this incredible, Sweater is Yoni's. Unfortunately, it's like huge on me. I think it's so cute Such nice quality and he thrifted it and it's an amazing cardigan But I drank all of my water for the day I don't know exactly how much this is but trust me when I say that me drinking this entire thing is a lot for me While I'm waiting for the podcast to process it's like doing something I will show you the final result, even though I wish that I could show you during the day, so I'll show you guys tomorrow. But now, because I can't wait, okay? Let me just show you. All right, so here is the coffee table. You guys actually saw it earlier. I like the way it looks. It's definitely gonna look weird for a little bit. Like, it just looks bigger, and there used to be such a small little coffee table there. So it's about like getting used to having something there. This is the TV stand. Pretty great, it's exactly what we want it to be. It does leave this awkward little space right there, which we don't really know what to do with it. So any suggestions, we're thinking put a plant. So yeah, I really like it. I sent it to my mom and my sister and my sister liked it. My mom, she was like, mm, I don't know. Like it's a little bit bigger than she expected. And funnily enough, funnily, I don't think that's a word, but funny enough, we actually ordered a coffee table a very long time ago and it kept getting pushed back and pushed back because it was back ordered for some reason. After we waited 
and waited. We were like, you know what, whatever. We're just gonna get a different coffee table and when that one comes, we're just gonna return it. Finally decide to get this coffee table. And then when this coffee table is supposed to arrive, of course that I get a text that the other coffee table is just shipped and it's gonna get here two days after this one will. So we're gonna have two coffee tables and we're going to just decide which one we like better. But I haven't made dinner yet and I'm not super hungry, but I should eat something. I did snack on some um, crackers while I was in class. Sorry that these videos are literally me eating and hanging out. What else do I do? Oh, and then doing schoolwork because that's actually what I usually do most of the time. Anyways, let's make some food. Okay, so I just finished class and I'm about to quickly build the shoe rack so we can just get out of the way. So here we're gonna put like the most used shoes is kind of the point is that we were running out of space to uh, in our bedroom. These are some tote bags and maybe some other stuff here. And then hopefully at some point we're gonna get some prints that we can just put like two big ones or one big one that would be really cool because our ceilings are so tall. It just makes sense. So yeah. 